through three and four. Didn't even really do any practice laps or anything. Just jumped straight into qualifying. That's a... Don't know what time that's going to be. Actually, it's pull. Okay. By half a second. All right, I'll take it. All righty, here we go. So, um, our setup, it's just one click down from stable. And that's really it. All we got to do is just survive the first, first maybe two laps. And then we'll be fine. Obviously, we're going to lose the lead right away. But we got to try to make sure to not get wrecked. Keep the car at the bottom. Wow. Jesus Christ. So we're going to take it easy into turn one. Byron gives me no fucking room and I wreck. Like, what? We'll just take it easy. Byron's giving me no fucking room and wrecks me, so. Thanks. Thanks for not even acknowledging I existed. Oh, same, same for you, Bubba. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Thank you. Are we done? Want to keep wrecking, or are we done, or? Nope. All right. Well, we'll just we'll just stack everybody up then, and. <sighs> this is so fucking stupid. And Byron gives me no fucking room, and I almost wrecked from that. Glad to know I don't exist in in their eyes. I just I'm just not just don't. <sighs> So fucking stupid. I hate this fucking piece of shit game. It's like... Jesus fucking Christ. The real honest truth at this point is... There is no content creator that could play this game without restarting. It is, it is literally fucking impossible with how broken this game is. And how fucking stupid the AI are. Like... I go in the corner... They just have zero awareness. It is some of the most broken pathetic AI I've ever seen. The frames dip there, so that fucked up my entry. But whatever, we survived turn fucking one. After, what, how many attempts? I, I, it's just, there's no way you can make this game look good. I'm fucking sorry. It's just, that's just the truth of the matter. Whatever, we survived the first lap. Holla fucking Louie, it took like seven attempts. Maybe, okay, maybe not seven, but probably like five. Something. Just, it's just pathetic. This is like the one game where I, I think I can excuse the replay clause because it's such it's so fucking broken. You haven't seen there's some races where I I restarted multiple times because I, the, I it's just it's fucking terrible. The AI do something fucking stupid and it's just I, I lost count. It's probably in the hundreds of how many times I had to probably restart. And I can't I I don't blame anybody for doing that in this game. This is like the one game I'll give that that leeway and exception pass because. It's such a garbage fire game. Like, I don't blame them. I really don't. I can't even be upset about it. This game is the one, like, asterisk about the restart clause rule that I have. Oh, good news. We got lap traffic. It took a little bit longer than, than I think. Usually it's always around, like, 12 or 13. This time it was, like, 15. That's the only, like, s small thing I noticed, but obviously... Hidden Harvick there doesn't help anything. We should be able to get by him here with uh, David Reagan holding him up. So, uh, yeah, up to the, you know, up to fifth. Larson and Truex are going to get held up. We'll just kind of sneakily uh, go down low, though. Uh, Chase actually got by one of the lap cars pretty easily. So it was just, you know, one regular pass, not two. So that's disappointing. Good news, we got more lap traffic. So that's going to hold up Byron and Chase Elliott here, I would imagine. Logano's the leader, I would assume. So, yeah, we're right there. Thank you, Alfredo, for holding up Chase. Oh, I'm gonna wreck. Yep. I had a fucking feeling, because... I... <sighs> so fucking stupid. I don't know. I, I, I should've known better. I should've fucking known better. I'm really, really shocked. I passed Kyle Larson without the aid of lap traffic. That is pretty surprising. Really didn't expect to say that, but it happened. Now let's run those cars down again. I hate how this car drives. Why is it turned itself to the fucking right so much? So it's so fucking obnoxious. Well, good. Hamilton's getting held up by lap traffic, sort of. And never mind. Ah, 
if the car just didn't turn right on the fucking straightaway, the way that it fucking does so much, we wouldn't have this problem. It's just... Oh my god, if I could just adjust the fucking setup to fix this shit. Like, like... I just want to drive straight. Why is that so fucking hard? Jesus, I hate this fucking game. I really fucking do. I, I hope I just win a championship and I can move the fuck on. Because this is so embarrassing. So, so fucking tired of it. Here we go. Let's let's try it out. I adjusted the car. The, the thing is stable. One click down. Let's just you know see what the fuck happens because I'm I'm so tired of playing this fucking garbage. I'm just tired of getting wrecked in the first lap, first corner because the AI keep crouching me off the fucking track like I don't exist and I, I doesn't matter if I drive my line fine or normal or whatever. They just always just pinch me and do stupid shit. Whatever, we survived the first fucking lap. Now let's see if we can, you know, just not race anyone. And don't worry, I'm not like I'm going to be racing Chase for now because they're all faster than me. So we got to wait for lap traffic to to give me a, you know, fucking gimme. What, what do I, what do I really expect? Just crowd me off the fucking track like I don't exist because you're on your predetermined path. But I can't, I can't rant about it. Nope, that, I'm, I'm, I'm immature, so that's my fault. Don't look now, we're actually doing something. We're actually catching somebody without the aid of lap traffic. Car doesn't turn, but it's okay. We gained a spot, and we didn't even need... I'm just, I'm in shock. I'm in utter disbelief, shock, and, and everything. So, hooray to us. Good news is, lap traffic's here. It's gonna hold up Chase Elliott and Harvick. Truex and Logano are just sticking behind Ty Dillon for now, so that's helping me out a, a good bit. This is probably dangerous to even make this fucking move, because, you know, they're not gonna know us on there. What'd I say? We, we got, you know, Ty Dillon not giving me room. Harvick's off the track trying to make a pass, and nothing was accomplished. Go fucking figure. Oh, now we're three wide again. Can't do that. Can't race to anyone, so... Gotta let, oh, there goes Chase just fucking turning us because he doesn't know I'm there. And there goes Logano too, so thanks. Thanks for fucking up two chase contenders for no no reason. Well, it seems like tire wear is starting to kick in because we keep getting really good uh, runs throughout the corner. We're actually catching cars and passing them without lap traffic aids, so that's good though. Our car is starting to get loose because obviously we spun, so we burnt some of, their, of our tires off, so hooray. I, I, it's just fucking so... It, it's embarrassing. It, that, that's all it, it boils down to. It's just absolutely embarrassing. I, I, like, you gotta get fucking room, man. Like, there's just no attempt to, to make the AI competent whatsoever. And this took two years to make. How are they supposed to make this game better in under a year? If this is what they got in two years. Like, we're, we're, we're never gonna get a good game from them. I, I'll be, I mean, the odds are very stacked in my favor, but the odds of actually having them making a, a, like a good game... It's maybe about 1 in, like, 70. Oh, good. We're catching Stenhouse. Now I'm about to make a pass. Is he going to realize I'm there? Yes, he does. Holy shit. What a, what a Christmas miracle. AI that actually noticed my... That I was, like, a huge... Like, you know, existed in this race. Thank thank you. We got to... We got to treat it like it's... Like a dog. Like, oh, good boy. I get you. Good boy. Yay. Good news is we have a lot of lap cars to, you know, pass. We actually gained a couple spots through that, so that's good. And now we gotta set our sights up to Harvick, who's pretty far up there, but he's still got half the race to go and more likely a lot of lap traffic for them to deal with. Big props and shouts to James Davison for being a, a roadblock. Just holding up Logano for really no reason. But I appreciate it. I th I th thank you. Can the car stop sliding at like 99 miles an hour, please? Thank you. Oh my, that is a lot of lap cars. Thank you, Amarola, for being a moving chicane even to your own teammate, which is pretty fucked up if you think about it. That's going to put us up into third. Please, Cole Custer, notice I'm there. No, he doesn't. Neither did McDowell, but thankfully we were ahead of him before he you know, right-hooked me. Oh, now we got Soy Boy Beta Cup Chase Elliott, who had to be an absolute dickhole and, you know, wrecked me before and probably other times at this track as well and of course 
Eric Jones finally lets him by, just as I'm about to catch up to him. Wasn't that just convenient? But Jace got more lap cars to deal with, so you better watch out. Oh, no, we get a good route the corner. I don't think we're going to pass him here in this, in turn one, but we can kind of set it up to keep him on the high side. Almost ran into him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a... That's annoying. All right. I don't even know why I made that move. I really don't. Whatever, we keep it. Somehow we kept it straight, and we get uh, we get second. As Truex is the leader, so we gotta run him down. Now it's Daniel Suarez holding up Truex. And he lets him go. We're about to kind of pretty much overdrove that corner, because I was afraid Suarez was gonna hit me. So, that didn't really make any matters better, just kind of make things worse. But Truex still has a lot of lap cars to deal with, so... I think we'll be okay. I like to get this car to the bottom lane if I can. And this thing likes to slide and slip a lot, so I really don't want anyone to be near me. <laughs> hey, thank you, Bubba. Oh, we got David Reagan, too. Oh, God. All right. Just gonna... There we go. Perfect. New leader. Fucking finally. Let's just win this and lock ourselves in... I, did I say block? I say lock ourselves into the next round. Because I've, I've had about enough of this fucking game in Richmond for... Probably the rest of this weekend. Like, there was no attempt for Chastain to even, like, let up. He just kept... <sighs> so fucking hard when the car keeps turning to the fucking right. All by itself. So I have to constantly keep turning to the left. And I'm afraid if I turn too much, it... Oh, it's so fucking obnoxious. Well, that's nice. Chase Elliott's getting held up by David Reagan. I'll take it. Now we're second. Don't know where the hell Truex is at. But I'd like to fucking win this race and move the fuck on. I'm so sick and tired of this just... just I just want to win this championship and fucking end this series. Then I, then I feel like my life is complete and then I can move on to doing something else with my time. Good news is, we can see Truex. He's only two seconds up the road and he's got lap traffic to deal with. And I was getting a little bit worried that if I, if I was even able to, you know, going to be able to catch him. It's just it's such a stupid situation. I, I shouldn't even be in this position where I, I've gotten wrecked three fucking times because the AI sucked that hard. And, and everything, like, it's just pathetic. And, and it looks like Truex is still getting held up by Alfredo, so that's good. People are pitting for whatever the fucking reason. Who knows? I don't know. I'm immature if I rant about it, so, you know, it, you know who cares? But Truex get by, uh, got, by one, got by Alfredo. He's going to be getting held up by Austin Dillon here. So if we get a good run up the corner, kind of pin him up high, we can get the lead. Thank God. Pull away from Dillon. Try to... Alright, I think we're... Are we good? Are we finally good? Can I relax? Can I just win this damn cha race and, and move on? I, I don't know. I did that to myself. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna, not, not gonna win. That's just so fucking stupid. <sighs> 45 minutes. And I still can't finish this race that should have taken... 20 minutes. It's so... I, just, I want to fucking win, move on, and beat this fucking bullshit game. I, I swear, if there's nothing happening when you win the championship, I will break this fucking controller. I swear. Right, not, might not break it, but I will probably throw it on the goddamn ground or something. I don't know. It's just so stupid. Like, I just want to win this fucking race. It should not be complicated. It shouldn't be a big deal. But the AI make is so much harder than what it needs to be. Just, I'm sick of it. Just, I, I want just to play the fuck out. They don't run into me. I don't run into them. And, you know, everybody's happy. Everybody's fine. Everybody goes home and faps and there, there's a good time. And, Byron, give me some fucking room. And I think we'll be good for a while until lap traffic arrives. Byron, I swear to God, just fuck off. I'm sick of that. Just piss off. So we got something interesting happening after the first lap. We're catching Larson and friends, and we got lap traffic that's kind of up in the distance. Car feels like fine. I'm assuming the car just falls apart once you spin out multiple times. Which I, I know I think that makes sense, but you know it'd be nice to have some kind of indicator or some sort of wear thing on the screen to kind of show that or I don't know anything. 
because sometimes I can't tell if the game's being stupid or if it's actually like trying to make some sense. But yeah, we're just kind of chilling. They're finally about to catch some lap traffic. Truex is behind David Reagan. So that's going to stack everybody up. Good for me. Holy shit, Chase Elliott's actually giving me room on the bottom. This is definitely a different universe because his AI always drives me like a piece of shit. So that's pretty, pretty shocking. I actually clear David Reagan. Yes, I can. It was, it was more dangerous than it needed to be. But, but what the fuck ever. We did it. We got by him. All right, well, we got an absolute wave of cars here, which I don't know how the hell I'm even going to attempt to pass. But Trex could just go off the track. Oh, he made contact. He should have wrecked there. But no, the AI play on different rules. So, you know, I'm, I'm fucked. I'm fucked if I do that, so I can't even... Can't race them. There's no attempt. I should just, you know, that's just what I should have done all along. All right, yeah. That was, that, was, that was the smartest thing I've done in this entire race. Thank you to Cody Ware for being slow. I don't think we led that lap. It was pretty damn close to it. And now that we're finally in the lead, let's pray that we could just finish off these next 40, 41 laps and just win and then end this part or whatever, which honestly at this point, this entire race can be its own episode because it's such a pathetic shit show. Thanks, Brad. Thanks. Thank God I had a pretty good lead built up before that point, but still really fucking stupid. Yeah, let's just race the leader for... Fuck, who cares? Don't know why people are pitting. Hell if I know. It's can't even do it. Can't just do, there's no attempt of even having a normal race in this game. It's just almost pointless. Whatever, we're leading. That's all that matters. We'll just you know, take it easy. Thanks, Timmy Hill. He giveth and taketh away, just like he did in the playoffs. He, I'll try to take it away, but I said fuck it. I don't. What does that mean? I don't know. Two laps to go, and we're about to lap the entire field. Don't really know why. Never mind. Shouldn't have even bothered. But luckily we have a lap lead to, you know, figure this shit out. But it's just... Can't can't race. You have, to, you have to constantly think to yourself, Oh wait, I can't race them. I gotta just stop. Because I know they... It goes against every fucking racing instinct. I swear. It's just nothing goes right. Nothing is just... Everything is wrong. Oh, thanks, Amaro, for just sending it. White flag, don't give a shit. Fucking send it. You go get him. We'll win the race. Finally. It didn't, that did not need to be an hour and 11 minutes to fucking do that. That's ridiculous. That should have been like a 20, 22-minute race. 23. And that's with getting wrecked twice, which probably cost me probably maybe 15 extra seconds, possibly. I don't know, but should not have taken that long to complete that. Holy shit. We're done. And this, and this, and this part. Might as well send Bristol because we already moved on to next round. We're good. That's our tenth win. Yay! Who cares? Um, we'll send it. Where will we finish at Bristol? Originally, we got last, eleventh. I like how there's less, in, there's more of an incentive just to sim the races than to actually run them. Like, what's the, what's the fucking point? <laughs> should just this game should have just been like, been like manager mode or something, and you just run your own team and you see where they. That'd be, that would have been better than to actually try and make a game. NASCAR manager, that honestly would have been probably better. Obviously, we would have ran last year at Vegas if we actually you know, ran it, so. We got 40th originally. Where will we be in this one? 16th! We're, se we're, se we're second in the points. We are 40 39 points ahead of, of the... Jesus Christ, it's hard to even know how far back we are because it doesn't tell us. <sighs> Jesus, so we're like what, 42 ahead? Yeah, we could we could sim this entire round and still be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. We'll drop this part up and we'll do um we'll do Talladega another one because I if I've had enough. Big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters, the Down Realms, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave in our chat 15, NASCAR number site.org, Billy Kira, Golf Kid 100, Emilio Bebster, Mess Skin Link 1986, Mark Harmon, and Jason Helen for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support the channel every single month. It does me a lot. Always goes a long way, so just thank you. Thank you for dealing with my, my bitch ass in this part. I'm sorry. It's just this game. This game will break you.
you see that you see you see that gleam in their eyes when you know you, you talk to someone they mention Asker 21 it, it just like it, it like dilates and you see like a shine that they you know they've seen some shit yes I, I literally compared this game to a Vietnam War because it, it literally is basically that when you play it I'm done have a good day everyone